I started the mural here with my grandmother holding on to my daughter Sky and two other women that were like grandmothers to me. And before they passed away, they used to sing a song to her, Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer true. And that's why she's holding the daisies here in the picture. This is our library, the Sklo Library, like that's Mr. Sklo, Betsy Allen there, who's the director of the library. Inez there, um, the first book she ever read me in the children's section is Where the Wild Things Are. And it's the first book that she read my daughter as well. These are all local artists up here at the top, like Ziggy Coyle, Bruce Shabak, and Stuart Frost, Harold Altman. There's a young woman there holding a square. Um, her name's Clarissa Stokes, and she drew that of her mom breastfeeding her baby brother. It got censored at the high school, so it made me kind of upset. I put it up there pretty big. Also, at one time, they censored Michelangelo's David from the waist up for male nipples. So that's my friend David up there posing as Michelangelo's David. Dora McQuaid is a Penn State graduate. She's also taught at Penn State. And for the last 14 years, she's been using her poetry and spoken word and has helped thousands of victims become survivors with that. And those are the 10 alumni who died from Penn State. Um, they were all in the Twin Towers. One woman said the first thing she remembered about her husband was going into this bar. At the other side of the bar was this guy wearing the ugliest green shirt she ever saw. So she looked at her friend and said, look at that ugly green shirt. The man and woman looked at each other, was love at first sight. So he's the only angel up there with the ugly green wings kind of thing. <laughs> and it's, you know, we laugh and we smile. It's these kind of things that is like the power of art. You know, on those days are the hardest days. And if you can make somebody smile on a day they didn't think they would smile, it's a really important thing. And that's really what drives me and drives my work. And Happy Valley is really all about love. The state college community and the Penn State community. So thank you very much.